Hi. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Yan so ngayon, oh, pag-uusapan natin or ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ba ang six trigonometric functions and their ratios. Ano-ano ba yung mga ratio ng trigonometric functions and ano-ano yung anim na yon. Okay? So let's start. So the six trigonometric functions are sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Now, ano yung mga ratio ng mga yan? Ito po yung mga ratio sa table. So focus natin yung A. So sine A is equal to opposite over hypo hypotenuse. We have cosine po ay adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. We have the cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. Second is hypotenuse over adjacent. Cotangent is adjacent over opposite. Now, paano natin kukunin ba yung hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent nung right triangle? Suppose in a given right triangle, triangle ABC at C, so C is our 90 degrees, paano natin malalaman kung ano dyan yung opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse? Si hypotenuse po ay hindi siya mababago. That is the longest side of the right triangle. And it's the side opposite the 90 degree angle. So automatic, the red part is our hypotenuse. Now, our opposite and our adjacent sides, I, it can be interchanged depending on what is your focus, what angle is your focus, alin ba dyan? Since nasa A ang focus natin, kung A ang focus natin, yung pong katabi niya nasa, yung blue side na yan, ang tinatawag natin na adjacent, katabi, adjacent. And then, yung tinutumbok niyang side or tinuturo ng side ng angle, siya po yung tinatawag na side opposite the angle. Now, sabi ko nga sa inyo, nagbabalik na dyan kasi kapag ang focus natin ay si angle B, ang magiging opposite na natin yung blue at yung adjacent natin yung green. So, depende sa focus. Now, there is a mnemonic for the trigonometric functions para hindi nyo makalimutan. And, yan, kilala naman natin lahat yan hindi pa natin lahat, yung mga higher level, si Sokatawa. Si Sokatawa po, nadyan na po siya. Ito po yung mnemonic. Ayan, si SCT, yung mga red letters na yan, yun po yung basic trigonometric function na sine, cosine, tangent. Yung O, H, A, H, and O, A, sila po yung ratio. Si O stands for opposite, H for hypotenuse, A for adjacent. Ito na yung formula. Bali si SO, S is equal to over, O over H opposite over hypotenuse. And then for the ito, remaining three trigonometric functions, we have Cho Shakao. As you can see, yung OH kanina na sine ay HO na kanin dito. Kasi po, si sine at si cosecant inverse po sila. Pabalik na rin mo lang. Kaya nga A over C, ito C over A. Same goes with cosine and second and then tangent and cotangent. So let's, let's solve math like a boss. The triangle ABC is a right triangle at C. Find the six trigonometric ratios of angle A given that A is 4 and C is 5. Dito binigay yung dalawang measure ng sides ng right triangle, yung A and C, yung small letter A and C. And then ang focus daw natin ay si angle A. Yan. Si A po yung 4, si B yung 5. Now, ay si C yung 5. To get or to solve for the third side of the right triangle, we have to use and we always have to use the Pythagorean Theorem. You have to remember this. Si Pythagorean Theorem or yung formula natin ng Pythagorean Theorem ay A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Now since given naman si C, given din si A, si B yung hahanapin natin. So A squared or 4 squared is plus B squared is equal to 5 squared. And then we have 16 plus B squared is equal to 25. Then, transpose natin si 16 sa right side, magiging b squared is equal to 25 minus 16, and b squared is equal to 9. Now, to get the value of b, we have to get the inverse or the, the opposite of squaring a number, and that's finding the square root. So, square root ng, b, ng 9 ay 3. So, ang b natin ay 3. Ngayon, kompleto na yung measurement ng sides natin, we can now get the trigonometric ratios. So, first natin ay sine A. Eh, di ba ang formula natin ay opposite over hypotenuse OH? We have, ang opposite pa natin. Paano ba natin malalaman? Di ba since we're focusing on angle A, ang opposite niya ay yung 4. 
Oh, first thing that we need to do, identify kung sino si opposite, sino si adjacent, at sino si hypotenuse. Para pag magkukuha tayo ng ratio, madali na natin yan. Okay? So si sine A ay opposite, so magiging 4 over 5. Si cosine A ay adjacent over hypotenuse, 3 over 5. Si tangent A ay opposite over adjacent, we have 4 over 3. Si cosecant, since reciprocal or inverse po siya ng sine, balik tayo mo lang yung 4 over 5, magiging 5 over 4. Cosine A is 5 over, sorry, second. Second A is 5 over 3 and cotangent A is equal to 3 over 4. So that's the six trigonometric ratios. Okay? So kung kukunin nyo yung angle nung to, uh, Pwede ko naman kayong sabihin, o oh, ganito. Kasi since pare-parehas na angle A yan, o oh, ilabas ang mahiwagang calculator na, yan. Kapag ganito, ang tatandaan nyo to ha, kapag kukunin natin ng angle gamit yung ratio, ang lagi nating unang ipipress ay si shift. Si shift or second function ng calculator nyo, dito tayo sa baba. Shift, press nyo lang yung shift or second function. Second function, press nyo yun. Tapos, ayan, press nyo lang yung shift. Tapos, press nyo siyempre, o, oh, piliin na natin yung sign. So, we have to press sign. And then, yung iba direkta na, pero yung iba kailangan pa ng open parenthesis. Press yung 4. And then, dito, i-press nyo yung division. Or, pwede rin naman yung fraction bar. Or, yung may makikita kayo dyan sa calculator na may ABC. Or, yung baliktad na L. Ayan. Since ang akin ay fraction, ito po may fraction na sa akin. Press natin, shift, then sign, tapos 4 over 5. 4 over 5. Yan. Tapos, i-close lang natin, and then equal sign. So, ang sagot ay 53.13. Ito po yung angle natin in decimal form. Ngayon, since ang tanong natin degree, meron po dyan kayong makikita sa calculator nyo na degree yung may bilog. Yan, press nyo lang yon, So, lalabas na yung, press nyo yung may ganito, o, yung bilog, minute, hands, seconds. Ang lalabas ay 53 degrees, 7 minutes, and 48.37 seconds. So, this is the exact degree measure ng angle A. Kapag lang naman tinatanong yung angle A, pag hindi, yung ratio lang, okay na yung mga fraction na yan. Okay? So, another example. So, the given is tangent theta is equal to, sorry, balik natin. Medyo nagpag-thank you again. Tangent theta is equal to 9 over 40. Determine the third side and then find the other five trigonometric ratio. So, dito binigay na yung tangent. Tahanapin na lang natin yung remaining five. No, paano natin makikita or malalaman yung remaining 5? Eh, wala naman tayong figure. So, we have to analyze this one. So, isusulat ko lang yung sin A. Oh, sorry. Sin theta, cos theta, tangent theta. Diba? Ang tangent theta natin ay 9 over 40. We have cosecant theta, secant theta, and cotangent theta. Theta says for angle po yan, ha? So, we have to analyze the given. Di ba ang binigay ay tangent? So, babalik, pabalik to. Ano ba yung ratio ng tangent? Di ba ang ratio niyan ay opposite over adjacent? Na dito na po. So, ibig sabihin, yung 9 natin, siya yung nagre-represent ng opposite at yung 40 natin, siya yung adjacent. So, ang nawawala natin yung hypotenuse. Okay? Si hype. So, we have to solve for the third side or the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Diba ang nawawala sa hypotenuse? So, siya yung c. So, magiging 9 squared plus 40 squared is equal to c squared. We have 81 plus 1,600 is equal to c squared. We have 1,681 is equal to c squared. And using your calculator, type in lang yung radical sign and then 1,681 and c is equal to 41. Yan na yung value. So, meron na tayong hypotenuse. Ito na po yung hypotenuse natin, yung 41. E di makukuha na natin. Di ba ang sign ay opposite over adjacent? Uh, I mean, opposite over hypotenuse. E di 9 over 41. 
Si cosine naman ay 40 over 41. Tangent given, si cosecant, balik na rin lang natin. So, magiging 41 over 9. Si second ay 41 over 40. And si cotangent ay 40 over 9. So, that's how you get the trigonometric ratio given lang po yung isang ratio. Okay? So, ito na talaga. Tunay na. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Okay? It would be a great help for me. <laughs> Thank you, and I have to say goodbye now.